Hi guys, quick question for you. How do I get data from a table structure to look like this and not do it manually? Well, it's very simple. In Excel, to do that in Excel, you only need two things. First, concatenation, and second of all, a function called char. Now let's get started. And first of all, I go and create a new column called output, and I start doing my work. First of all, to concatenate, the easiest way to concatenate, just basically start like, like you do with a formula. Click on the first item, in this case the name. Now I need here a space between these, so what I do is like and, double quotes open, double quotes close, in between them I have a space and then again the ampersand. So now I've just concatenated the first name to an empty space, and then now I just concatenate the surname. If I go return, already got the first two elements in here. Okay, now I need a further space between uh, the surname and that single quote, so I just do that as well. And I got that. Uh, oh, yeah, of course. And I got that. So now I've got first name, space, surname, and then a space. Now, I need a single quote. Now I can't just type a single quote just like that. Because that will throw an error. I can either I have two ways about it. Either I put it in the single quotes, something like that, or I can call the function char. And the function char requires a number. So let me let's try it out. Just, just put in any random number. Let's say I don't know 66. Now, what, what do you think what would come out of that? Char takes, returns a character whose ASCII code is 66. And I that would be a B. I can't remember if it's a capital or a lowercase B, but I reckon it's a B. And, uh, oh, it's not it's probably set to text. Let me just uh, format the cells. Yeah, general. And let's do it again. So you see, that's a capital B. If I go char, uh, uh, let's go 72, that would be another alpha, but further down the line. Right. Now, what I need is the, is, the, is the ASCII code for a single code. Now, how do I find that out? Well, just Google um, ASCII code, and you will, or ASCII codes, and you will find the ASCII codes. And here's the website I found, and I need a single quote, and single quote is... There it is, the 39. It is basically in char, in the function char, I just have to input the 39. So let's try it out. So I go and char 39. See, so now I got a single quote, no big deal. And if I need a double quote, now, like I said, with a single quote, because we're using double quotes to um, separate items or, or you know, to have some static text there, I could place the single quote within within the within the double quotes. But if you need double quotes, well, then you you need the char function because if I go in here and say um, you know double quote, that's for the nickname, and then close that, that's going to throw an error as well. You see, so here if I need if I need double quotes, then I would need either the char or have some triple quotes like this. So you see, so in order to simplify matters, I use char. And let me, let me stick to my, uh, to my single quotes. And there you go, Frank Smith. And now I need the nickname. That would be that. And then I uh, need, uh, again, char 39 to get uh, the, the closing single quote. And then I need the text. I think this text is wrong here. We should get the is first. So I need a space, is, and space, and then the age. And then again, a static text, years old. And then what I need now is the carriage return or new line basically and char. Now what code does, what ASCII code does a new line have? And the new line has got the code 10. So go in here, type in the 10, and then I add the static text uh, and 
resides in and then ampersand again and then the street ampersand space and then the zip code and now we have that what we need and I actually don't need the space there because the, I got the carriage return if I drag it down I have what I need and now we can try it out if I go in here and all I have to do is just equal this and I got that and if I just drag that down I get it for the other people as well let me just give them all the same row height and we got it let's I don't know let's give them 50 so and there you go and now I have automatically changed the format of data in a table structure to something like that also what you also can do you can also copy that and then and then just paste it in a text editor and you would have that that text here and now all you gotta do is replace those quotes because every time you copy from excel you get those double quotes uh, encapsulating or, or enclosing your text what you've got to do is just find and replace all with nothing and there you go and now you've got the text as you need and now here as you notice they're sticking to each other if you plan to copy your text well no problem what you do uh, let me just keep it uh, what you do is basically you add another uh, carriage return at the back and then now you've got here the carriage return doesn't look that good in Excel but if I copy the data and again go to my notepad and see now I've got these these different lines and all I gotta do now is find and uh, replace them with nothing replace all and I've got the text that I need so that's the way you convert from in Excel basically uh, from table structure to some sort of label or string structure that you can then use in further application be it in Excel or you know just to copy and paste somewhere else